we're here in one of the replica Neolithic houses at Stonehenge and today we're going to be trying to make some cheese. And I've got Penny Bickle with me from York University. So what's the process? What do we need to do first? Well, the first thing we need to do is heat up the milk. Okay. So we're going to pour the milk into the pot. Okay, so we've got some milk here. Now this is just more ordinary uh, modern milk, isn't it, from the supermarket? But they would have presumably had sort of unpasteurised milk? Yes, uh, yeah, straight from the cow. So we're going to just put this on the edge of the fire? Yeah. So this is the kind of grooveware pottery that we found in excavations at Durrington Walls. Um, how do we know that they were eating, drinking milk? What we do is we take a piece of the pottery and we clean up the surfaces and then we analyse the fats which have been absorbed into the walls of the pots themselves. When you get a pot like this has been used, this one actually has got a bit of black, we can see the residue on the inside. It's, yeah. not, it's not that residue you're testing, it's actually no. right within the clay no, of the pot. Yeah, it's really been absorbed into the clay okay. and preserved over the, the thousand years that the pot's been in the ground. So let's have a test of the, the milk and see how hot it's getting. Yes, that's getting warm enough. Oh, now. It's cool. time to okay. add the rennet. Okay, I'm going to take the pot away from the fire now. Yeah, it uh, really works. Okay, so what happens next? Well, now we need to strain the whey away from okay. the curd. So um, we're going to use this linen cloth and I think we'll put it over uh, this pot to catch okay, so the Okay, so if I hold in. that there. Yeah, so the pot is actually still quite warm. Okay. Um, but I'm going to use a spoon to scoop off so the So you're going to ladle that into here, curds. yeah? Yeah. So uh, what I'll do is I'll gather up the linen. Okay. And so that's the way draining off now. So we'll leave it like that, just suspended on the edge. And we'll come back in a couple of hours. So you can see that the way has stopped draining out of the cloth now. Okay. So if I pop it into that little pot and undo the muslin. It's going to be a little bit like cottage cheese. Oh, it looks so. just like cottage cheese. In fact, it looks nicer than cottage cheese. It looks like ricotta. Yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? Should we try and taste a bit? Yeah, I think okay. so. Just take a little bit off. It's quite nice. It tastes very milky, doesn't it? it yeah, but it tastes milk. like ricotta. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I could put that on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Neolithic cheese. <laughs>